Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome to Elderflower Stitches. My name is Susie and this is my YouTube channel all about knitting, sewing and my other crafty hobbies and the lovely stuff in my shop. I will leave links in the description box down below with my Instagram, my Ravelry, which I don't update that often, but it's up there, <laughs> and um, my shop. Today's video is a rundown of five pairs of socks that I showed on a reel recently on Instagram. And I had lots of messages after uploading it, asking for more information on the patterns and that kind of thing. So let's get started. Here are the five pairs of socks that I showed. And I'm gonna talk you through one by one the patterns that I used, the yarns that I used, and yeah, my kind of like knitting pattern notes. So let's start off first of all with this pair. As you can see, <laughs> um, when I show you each of these pairs of socks, lots of them are very well worn, but hopefully that's a good sign that I like the pattern and I like the yarn and it's a sock that I wear regularly. So this is a really simple vanilla sock. It's got a contrast toe and cuff. I knit the same toe on all five of these socks. I think it's the same heel as well, yeah with a slight variation. So this is the Whirlwind Toe, which is a free pattern that you can get on the internet, and I will link it down below, but if you would like a tutorial on how I do it, then let me know in the comments, because I'd be happy to do that. So it's a Whirlwind Toe, and then this is just a vanilla sock, so it's completely plain stocking stitch. I then did a Godet Heel, which is a pattern from, which is a heel pattern from, um, the Soul Sister sock, oh that bit of, I haven't woven that in properly, um, it's a pattern from the Soul Sister sock and it's a really simple heel pattern but I messed it up so instead of being like a smooth wedge shape it's actually more like a bit, a bit sort of squarish there, oh do you see like it's, yeah got a funny shape there anyway and instead of knitting and purling on the part where you work flat I actually did knitting on both sides so it created like a garter stitch heel um, which is nice because it gives it a bit of extra stretch so that's the heel and then this is like a super shorty like almost a trainer sock so I've only got I think maybe eight rows of stocking stitch again before I go into the cuff these are, these yarns are just hand dyed yarns from my shop. This is Point Shoes. Um, and this one, I don't actually think I have in the shop at the moment. It's like a dusty rose color, but if you want a sock set with these yarns, just let me know because I can put a custom one together for you. So it's Point Shoes and I think this was Cosmos at Dusk, but that one's not in the shop at the moment. There you go, so that's the first pair. Second pair is this gorgeous, this beautiful pair of lace socks is a pattern by Ambrose Knits, which I will link in the description box below. It's from her Miss Marple collection. She had, I think, seven patterns that were all um, themed around Miss Marple. And so that's what this lovely lace pattern is. It's not the same on both sides. But again, I've got a whirlwind toe here. The lace patterns, what I followed through the foot, and then I've done the Godet heel again from the Soul Sisters sock, but this time it's like smooth stocking stitch. I didn't do a garter um, heel flap. And then I've done about an inch and a half of continuing the pattern into the leg before I did a pico cuff. So this pico cuff is really simple to knit. It's um, Basically you knit like a few rounds and then you do one round where you knit two together, yarn over and then you knit the same number of rounds you did the first time, fold it down and stitch it. Um, if you'd like a tutorial on that as well then just let me know because I'd be happy to do that. So this is um, my Miss Marple socks. This colourway is Cinderella's Slipper, which is in my shop at the moment. There's also a kit, if you like this colourway and you fancy having a go at yarn dyeing, there is a kit that you can buy and it has everything you need to have a go at dyeing your own yarn. You just need some basic household equipment. Um, it's got a video tutorial that goes with it as well. 
next pair these ones are very well worn <laughs> um this gorgeous colorway was just like a um one of a kind colorway it's a kind of self-drafted pattern i've got a whirlwind toe here and then this is like almost a basket weave style um knitting pattern or stitch pattern sorry so it's two rounds of knit two purl two knit two purl two and then it's two rounds of plain knitting and i just repeated that all the way up the foot and the leg what's quite nice with anything that sort of resembles um ribbing is that you get more stretch from it from the knit purl stitch pattern this is a go day heel and again i did a garter stitch um heel flap and then an inch and a half on the foot, um, on the ankle, and then I've done a mini one by one twisted rib. I think this is maybe eight rounds before I did my cast, uh, stretchy cast off, so just a mini little cuff there. Another pair, here we go, pair number four. This is a beautiful pair of lace socks. I absolutely love these. They aren't as well worn because I try not to, I try not to wear them unless they're like on show in my shoes, if that makes sense. So I've got a whirlwind toe, but this is a contrast toe and heel and cuff. Um, so I knit the toe in one colour and then I switched into the colour for the main body. And these are the Soul Sister Socks by Jules and Amy. So that's Jules of So Sweet Violet and Amy from Taylor S Studio. And it's this gorgeous, I'll just shimmy it around so you can see it. It's this gorgeous um, old shale lace pattern on the foot. So pretty and it's really simple. Um, you only have to remember one row of lace and, um, and the rest of it's really simple. So that's lovely. Go day heel, but I switched to the contrast colour for the heel flap. And then I've got about an inch and a half again on the ankle. And my lovely Pico cuff again in the contrast colour. Let me see if I can show it better. There we go. It is really effective. And I think much nicer if you don't like anything tight around your ankle for the cuff. It's really... Um, yeah, really nice way of doing your cuff. Final pair is um, this lovely pair of fade socks. So this is a completely vanilla pair of socks. I've got my whirlwind toe, completely plain, a stocking stitch, a go day heel with a stocking stitch heel flap, and probably more like an inch and three quarters of plain stocking stitch before I go into the cuff. Sorry if you can hear all that banging. Um, my husband and my baby are downstairs playing. <laughs> uh, I don't know quite what, but it sounds noisy to me. And then I finished off with the mini one by one twisted rib in the um, darkest color. So it was like a fade all the way up and then into the darker color for the cuff. Um, and onto a stretchy bind off. This one, is the Point Shoes Minis Fade Set, which is available in shop and is also available as a yarn dyeing kit too. Um, sorry that lots of these socks have got like bobbles and grubby bits on, but they are well loved and well worn. So that's hopefully a good sign. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed finding out more about my socks. And um, yeah, maybe I'll do this with some other pairs of socks that I have or some other bits in my hand knit collection like hats and shawls that kind of thing let me know what you'd like to see next and i'll catch up with you very soon bye